XL, this one's slightly different. That's the zinc hexacyanoferrate one, but instead of the feather carbon and the expanded graphite, it's got the contents of a um, ever ready battery. So manganese dioxide and some carbon black, most likely. But um, because manganese dioxide is so heavy, I put points one gram of the mix and it didn't have sort of the coverage needed to get rid of the one gram of um, zinc hexacyanoferrate so I had to add four grams of the manganese dioxide to that cell but I've spilt a lot of it and that one's the um, iron 3 one and I just topped it up with an extra two grams of um, feather carbon to make four grams on that one so I spilt that one as well I sort of wiped that one up a bit, so they're about the same spillage. So the carbon felt weighed 1.25, 1.2 something on that one. So I'll measure it up when it's dry. Um, the manganese there may help alleviate the hydrogen on the cell buildup. It should oxidize and turn into water. The hydrogen with the manganese dioxide maybe so we'll see how that actually goes. I'll get back in probably a week because I've got to wrap them up and soak it for a week. So it's Monday today, so I'll probably test it on Friday. Later today it should be dry enough to stick in the electrolyte. So until then... Okay, weighing in the cells. The zinc hexacyano one with manganese dioxide is 3.9, the um, carbon felt weighed 1.2 so we're about 2.6 grams we didn't get a lot in there that's quite light and this one the iron 3 4.4 we were 1.2 so we got more of the um iron 3 hexacyanoferrate into this one than we did with manganese version so total weight 8.3 grams plus binder now right, I'll assemble the cell and um, we'll wait four days okay I'm back it's Wednesday today so it's been in the electrolyte the new cell that is that's the manganese dioxide cell with the zinc hexacyanoferrate on the positive side that would be the red lead uh, we have a voltage, that's why I'm testing, and I did a short circuit, and it's around about 13 milliamps going through the cell on a short circuit, and then it sort of drops down to 10. Um, I haven't charged it up yet, so this will be the first charge. So it will be interesting to see how the manganese dioxide reacts with the zinc hexacyanoferrate on the positive side. Okay, we're at 2.5 volts. The um, meter there, if you can see that. It is probably about 2.5. And we're 382. We're pretty high actually, for the same voltage compared to the other cells. So I'm wondering if the manganese dioxide will help alleviate some of the um, hydrogen build up on the plate. Maybe. Uh, we'll leave that for, a, uh, I'll try an hour. I'll keep an eye on it. And um, I'll try not to cook the cell. Okay, the cell's been on charge for an hour. At, um, we're at 2.5 volts. It sort of started degrading here for some reason. Even the milliamp sort of is a bit jittery. It's sort of stabilizing. Maybe the membrane's not totally saturated yet, perhaps. There's um, not too much bubbling going on down there. There is a couple of bubbles every now and then. I can't smell any gassing. So we're probably still good for a longer charge. Maybe, but for now, our first test charge will be an hour. So I'll disconnect the charge. And connect the other leads.
Okay, we should have a voltage now. 2.2. Alright, we're doing 10 milliamps again so we can sort of judge the effects. This should probably be a bit more powerful cell being manganese dioxide and it's got extra carbon content on the cell. So, so far, looking good. 2.1. <coughs> So the first charge on the other cell was um, 74 milliamp hours and 100 milliwatt hours. So we'll um, see if this one is higher. It drops down a bit after a few charges, I noticed. But it's still around about 50. Milliwatt hours. It did drop down to 31 on my records. Yeah, that was the other cell. But they seem to get very dirty. That was the original. That's the next one. Yeah, that's the latest. So you can sort of see the difference. That one's really dirty. So the voltage is um, slowly going down. Alright, I'll get back. Okay, back with the um, discharge. So we only made it to 1 hour and 43 minutes, 29 milliwatt hours and 17 milliamp hours. So it's not looking great, but it was only 1 hour on charge. I'll um, charge it up again. I'll probably give it a four hour charge like the other ones and see what we get. So I'll do that now and get back. Okay, the charge has been, I mean the cell's been on charge for four hours now. Um, not much bubbling or anything going on down in there. For the higher voltage, 2.5. It's quite idle looking actually. Okay, so I'll just disconnect the charge. Okay, we should have voltage. We're at 2.2, 10 milliamps again. Hopefully we get a bit longer run time. see what we get I'll be back okay one hour update it's still holding 1.9 pretty strongly it's looking good we're at 22 milliwatt hours and 11 milliamp hours so the extra charging may have helped. Okay, cell's been running for 2 hours and 6 minutes. We're at 42 milliwatt hours and 21 milliamp hours. And holding 1.8 pretty firmly. It almost did 2 hours at 1.9. Not too far off. Where is it? 1.9 hour and 42 minutes. So we'll see how it goes, and I'll get back. Okay, not a bad run from the cell. Um, 4 hours and 59 minutes. Total of 90 milliwatt hours, 50 milliamp hours. But, and um, I don't think it's as good as the other one. You would have thought, hmm, manganese would have been good. I'll try again tomorrow and um, see if the results are the same. Alright, till then. Okay, back the next day, doing another charge on the cell. It's been on for four hours. 
There really is no bubbling going on all that time. It really looks idle. So we'll see what we get today. Last time it ran for... Ah, I didn't write it down. Oops. <laughs> Alright, I'll look at the video and then I'll write it down. Alright, so I'll take it off charge now. Okay, we should have a voltage now. No, what happened? Uh -uh. Oops, wrong lead. All right, now we should have voltage. Yep. Okay, so again, 10 minutes, I mean 10 milliamps and 0.9 cutoff voltage. Okay, I think, no, yeah, no, nah, I thought it was going to stay at 2.2 for a bit. Alright, we'll see if we get, I think it was like nearly five hours, one minute off or something last night. Okay, today we're two hours and 24 minutes into the run. And we're holding 1.8, so we're slightly up on the um, voltage. And currently we have 24 milliamp hours and 47 milliwatt hours. And the cell's quite clean. This one seems to be cleaner. I think the um, when it went to three volts, sort of damaged that cell. So we're gonna not do that. Hmm, keep saying that, but I never do, do I? All right, I'll get back. Okay, cell's been running for five hours now. We're at 95 milliwatt hours, 51 milliamp hours, holding 1.6. Uh, I think manganese dioxide may have did a little bit better job. All right, I'll get back. Okay, six hours and 12 minutes total time for that run. Not too bad for the cell, but it's got eight grams and it's got manganese dioxide, about 3.4, four or five grams. So our energy is 111 milliwatts an hour and capacity is 62 milliamp hours. Average voltage is all right, 1.8. So um, I'll do another test tomorrow. I'll do a 20 milliamp test and compare the two. Uh, till then. Okay, back. Uh, the cell's been uncharged for a bit too long. Four hours and 23 minutes. So, um, time actually goes pretty quick. When you're home. Okay, cells connected. Oh, not too good. There we go. That was a loose alligator clip. Alright, so this time we're doing 20 milliamps as our load. So we'll see if it drops pretty quickly. Yeah, okay, I'm surprised. I thought it would have dropped in voltage. Well, there you go. The, um, that might be more surface area. We're using the batteries for our ever ready manganese dioxide. Do yeah, manganese dioxide. Man yeah. Well, I give up. <laughs> uh, we'll see how long we get for our 20 minute lamp load. Well, so far the cells hold up for three hours. We're at 108 milliwatt hours and 63 milliamp hours at 20 milliamp load. We're probably dropping. The curve's sort of changed its shape a bit. It should sort of drop off quickly soon, maybe. 
And a quick look at the cell. Still pretty clean. I think that alligator clip and see it's um, corroding again. And that dirty one might be soiling up the cell there. Okay, cells just run out. Three hours and 46 minutes and its uh, voltage is climbing up. Today when I put it on charge it was at 1.2. So it goes up and then it comes down overnight. Uh, for our energy, 124 milliwatt hours and 77 milliamp hours. So not too bad, but it is near eight grams, that cell. So I'll, um, I'll keep charging it and I'll post this video. So thanks for watching. That's the manganese oxide version of the cell. I'll um, make another one with just plain activated carbon, I think, with the um, active ingredients and see what happens there. Or I might do activated carbon and also manganese dioxide. Alright, till then, thanks for watching.